guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I wanted to do a makeup tutorial that's suitable for date night as you can see over here I'm wearing my beautiful rose goldy blouse and I wanted to do a look to kind of complement it so if you're gonna be wearing rose gold then this look would definitely complement that the palette that I used for this look is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette and this is a five pan eyeshadow palette these are a little bit more affordable than the eyeshadow palettes that she has that have more than five shadows um i believe that these go for 25 dollars. i'm not sure but this eyeshadow palette really caught my attention when i saw it let me just show you guys here it really caught my attention when i saw it because i love kind of rose goldy champagne -y, maroon -y colors it's just a beautiful combination and these colors work so well and look so well together that I was like you know what that's a palette that I have to have and I bought it a couple of years ago actually and I haven't really you know been using them so I was going through my shelves and I was like hey look at this beautiful eyeshadow palette that would be perfect for date night because I wanted to do something dark and sultry and I felt like this was definitely the vibe that I wanted to go for and it went perfect with the blouse that I'm wearing these earrings I got them from forever 21 if you guys are interested you can find them there and I picked up my hair <laughs> a little sleek you know little kind of messy bun situation going on here but anyways it's not about that it's about the makeup so if you guys are interested in how I came up with this look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I've already moisturized my face. So now the next step of course is to prime our eyelids. And for that I am going to use one of my favorite um, concealers, which is this one, the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer 24 Hour Full Wear. And what we're going to do with this is just prime our lids. Now you guys know that this helps out with um, the eyeshadows lasting longer so like that you can see the colors even more vibrantly. So I'm just going to blend this out with the beauty blender until I get a nice even canvas here. The Natasha Denona shadows, they're really, really good. So I'm not too worried about, you know, how they blend or anything like that. These are one of my favorite brands. I love the foundation I've tried the foundation her blushes are really good and she's come out with a lot of beautiful eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes but they're so pricey that I just can't so I purchased this palette a while ago and I haven't really used it but I thought that it went really well with this blouse that I'm wearing so we're just gonna go for it all right so this color right here is the color that I'm gonna go for which I believe is 22M, that's the maroon color right there, this one right here in the corner, and that's the one that I'm going to use on my lids because since it's date night, you know, we want it to be sultry and, and, and dark and sexy, you know, because we're going out with our husbands, so. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Smith 256 brush, and I'm going to jump right into that maroon color, and I'm going to apply this all over my lids. And then we are going to blend it out. Whenever I wear dark colors like these, this is a beautiful color. Wow, look at the pigmentation on that. But whenever I wear colors this intense, I like to do it before foundation, of course, because like that, if there is ever any fallout, which normally there is, um, you could just wipe it off with a wipe and that's it move on so I'm trying to keep it right to where my crease is and just really pack it on I'm not worried about it being too perfect right now because I'm going to blend that color out later and I want to try and keep it round as well I don't want to you know kind of wing it out I want to keep it round and and sultry just going ahead a few times and just packing it on Now, I don't know what kind of look I'm going to end up with, but I have an idea. I just know that I want it to be dark. Let's blend this out. I'm going to use a 
blending brush that's a little stiff I don't want anything kind of too loose not yet because again we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going back into the eyeshadow and just packing it on I'm gonna see if I can just stick to this one eyeshadow and just blend it out work with it blend it out work with it you know so picking up my Smith 230 brush I am just going to go right into these edges and just blend it out Again, just kind of windshield wiper motions. We're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, and then circles to really blend that out. Again, I'm trying to keep it as round as possible. You know, guys, I feel like I don't see tutorials like these anymore where you're basically taught how to do certain looks. Like, mostly what I see now are, you know, product reviews because these brands are coming out with so many products. It's so overwhelming and everybody's just doing product reviews. I miss the days when, you know, hey, if you wanted to go out on date night with your husband or have a girl's night out or whatever, you would go on YouTube and you would look up a tutorial for you know makeup ideas for a girls night out or date night and you know these people or these youtubers would just kind of talk you through it I miss that and that's kind of like the vibe that I want from my channel I want to give you guys ideas for looks if you want to go out for whatever occasion I want you guys to be able to come back to my channel and find a look for that occasion because I I miss that and, and that's something that I really enjoy and I hear a lot of people saying you know that they miss the old YouTube when people you know used to just come on here and do tutorials I for example like tonight I'm gonna go out with my husband and I was like you know what let me fix myself up and while I do that let me film it and just basically explain what it is that I'm doing so like that you guys can recreate. Now, of course, if you guys can't afford Natasha Denona because she is super high end, if you guys cannot afford it, you know, then you can use whatever eyeshadow palette you have at hand. It, it doesn't have to be specifically this one, but you know, there's so many products that these companies are coming out with and it'll be so hard for me to kind of review all of them I, i'm not getting pr or anything like that you know i basically have to purchase these things with my own money and i can't i can't do that i just want to be you know a channel of let's get ready together while we chit chat and talk about life and stuff like that and what our husbands did and what our kids did and and what our friends did and stuff like that. That's what I, that's the vibe that I want from my channel. So, okay guys, I think I am done with the eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do any more than this. Very simple, very beautiful color. This whole look is gonna come together. You know, I don't have my face on right now, so it looks kind of off. But when I start applying the foundation and the lipstick and the eyelashes and all that, the whole look is gonna come together. So now what I'm gonna do is wipe off the, the fallout. I make the oddest faces when I'm doing certain things and and I'm practicing to not do that because it's it's just it just looks very very weird and sometimes while I'm editing I'm like oh my god you make that face like oh that looks so disgusting but practice makes progress so I'm just trying to practice to not do that now the next thing I'm gonna do is foundation and I want to look luminous for the night you know I want my face to shine. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, which I have been using almost every day for the past couple of days, and I love it. It's a beautiful foundation. And the products that I usually use, um, bronzer on my face, bronzer, highlighter, blush, all of them work perfectly with this foundation. I have had no issues whatsoever so with a mildly damp beauty blender i am going to blend this out very thin layer because again 
I'm a medium coverage girl. And this foundation gives me just that. Now I do like full coverage under my eyes because I do have a dark circle, so definitely like full coverage under there. But everywhere else it's not necessary. So I don't know where my husband and I are gonna go eat tonight. I can't wait though. I kind of want Thai food. Do you guys like Thai food? I love Thai food. All right, you guys, so that's it for the application of the foundation. Now, the next step is concealer. And I am going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for my under eye. This concealer, I know a lot of people say that it's drying and stuff like that, and my skin is dry, but I feel like it doesn't dry out that much on my skin for some reason. That's why, you know, you can't really buy into everything that that you're sold because sometimes these things don't work on you and that's why it's best to just like purchase a sample see how it works and then purchase because there's so many products being thrown at your face that you're just like I want everything and then you're buying everything and then and then it doesn't work for you because you just don't have the skin for it so it's good to test these things out so with the same beauty blender I'm just going to blend this out get those under eyes corrected and this is where the ugly faces come in because I'm just like <laughs> so now I'm just gonna set my under eye and I'm gonna use my go-to right now which is the Anastasia loose setting powder and with the beauty blender I'm going to go right ahead and just set that real quick not too much I don't really like to set it too much I don't bake I just set it real quick this setting powder has been really really good to me it's so finely milled that it blends so beautifully into the skin look at look at how it blurs your skin out like you can't see anything it's like you just got a fresh dose of Botox now this foundation claims that you don't have to set it but I set all of my foundations, especially here in, in these areas, the T-zone, because throughout the day, you know, you do tend to get a little oily there in the T-zone. So does that make you combination skin or am I still dry? I'm not sure because when I come out the shower, I feel like my skin is like, like it's not even breathing. And then when I apply the moisturizer and everything, it feels so, so smooth and so bouncy and stuff like that, you know? But then throughout the day, I do get kind of oily here. All right, so that's it for setting. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows because I can't stand looking at myself like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the number four. And I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows real quick. I will be right back. See, now isn't that better? Ugh, at least to me it is. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue on with my eyes. I am not gonna do a winged liner tonight because I don't think it's really necessary. I'm going to go right in and do my lower lash line and I'm going to use the same shade. I'm going to use the Smith 235 brush. It looks like this. It's a smaller version of the one that I used on the upper lid and I'm just going to apply that. Just really pack it on and connect it to the eyeshadow here on the top. So I'm going to use this blending brush. This is the Morphe M506 brush, and it looks kind of like that. Not kind of, that's what it looks like right there. It's a little dense, not too much, um, and it's fluffy as well, which is, I think, perfect for this part here. I wanna keep most of the color intact but I just want to blend the edges out so very very lightly with a very light hand I'm just going to blend that out and bring it up to the outside right here not winging it out too much add a little bit more pigment so that the color can be a little bit more intense and go right in again with the brush and just very light hand and we'll blend it out once again and depending on how intense you want it you would repeat this over and over again until you get the intensity that you want but I'm very happy with how this looks right now so I'm gonna stop right there 
I have to say you guys, these eyeshadows blend like butter. So Mario, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, he said to hold your brush on this end like that if you want a really soft hand when you're blending and that'll just create beautiful blends. So I'm doing that right now. It's definitely very soft handed. I am going to line it, but I'm just gonna do a very thin line on the upper lash and I'm going to fill in my waterline with black eyeliner. Okay. Now let's finish the eye look. I wanna add a inner corner highlight and then the lashes to just finish it all off and then we'll move on to the face. I am going to go in with this beautiful kind of champagne-y shimmery color and I'm going to apply that color right into the inner corner of the eye. Now for the lashes. Now these lashes I got off the Wish app. They were I think two dollars or something like that and they're actually really beautiful they are I'm gonna go with the bottom ones here because I feel like they are a little fluffier than the ones on the top although I think they are the same thing so I'm actually gonna brush these a little with the spoolie of my brow pencil um, just to kind of loosen them up a little bit because I do like them fluffy and loose fluffy and loose the glue is on the lashes I'm just waiting for that to get tacky and meanwhile I'm going to apply a coat of mascara to my lashes mascara is on now for the lashes I'm telling you guys you should try the wish app to get lashes because you get the same beautiful lashes for a fraction of the price honestly I mean if, if that's what you like to do then go right ahead I, I used to do that too you know what I'm saying but then I saw on the wish app that they have so many beautiful lashes for for such a small price and I'm like hey you know it does take two to three weeks to arrive that's probably the downfall of the whole thing but I can wait two to three weeks for that price let me tell you all right so that is it for the eyes you guys now let's move on to the face so the first thing I'm gonna do is bronze it and I'm going to use my go-to lately and that's the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in rich amber and I'm going to use this Morphe brush it has no name but I know it's a Morphe brush and I'm just going to pack that right in and right here not going all the way down of course I'm just going to bronze my face kind of give myself that chiseled look like I actually have cheeks I do have cheeks but let's make them a little bit more pronounced our faces have dimension now I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use you guessed it the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter and I'm going to just apply two to three little swabs of that here Two is enough. A little goes a long way with this product. And with my beauty blender, I am going to blend that out. When this thing is done, I will definitely repurchase. Okay, so now I am going to go in with the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter, and this is the Royalty 2. And I'm going to highlight my face with this on top of what I already have. And I'm going to use my go-to brush for highlight. Not that one. This one, the Morphe M510 brush. So picking up that brush and just applying very small amount, very small amount, you guys, of that. Look how beautiful that is. OMG. I'm going to glow. The guys are gonna see me up in the clouds. That's how I'm going to glow. Oh, but we're not stopping there yet. I'm going to spray some setting spray on my face and then I'm going to apply even more highlighter. So let's do this. So picking up the same highlighter. We are just going to a little 
the finished product, but the result is beautiful. Oh my god. Jeez, these pumpkins guys are killing me. So let's add a little bit more highlight up here, from here. I mean, we're going hard tonight, you guys. For the last step, the part that just ties everything together, the lips. I'm definitely gonna go nude for tonight. So I have this Vuzette where I have depotted all of the matte lipsticks that I had and I'm going to choose one of these up here. So I'm going to use the Smith 302 brush to apply this lip color. And I'm gonna go in with this very beautiful kind of pinky nude, which I feel will tie everything together, you know, with the with the maroon on the on the eyes. A little pinky nude lip will look very nice. Alright you guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and are able to accomplish the look. I absolutely love this look. I feel like it's super romantic, super sultry. It's kind of like a come here to me daddy type situation and I'm all about that. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all and see you next time.